Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Close Perspective. We're here with Aries Peter Crithery. Hello, Peter. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Um, typically, we would do this on the show floor when there was an NAV, but uh, but here we are over Zoom. So I uh, just wanted to start off by saying, what, what would you guys have had at NAV had there been a show? I know that there would have been um, something new called Amira Live, but but what else? Can you just run us through your, your products? Sure. No, absolutely. Appreciate it. And thank you for, for having me. So as, as everyone knows, Ari is uh, very well known for our accomplishments. Uh, we've got a long and distinguished track record in feature film production, episodic television, uh, commercials, and many others. Uh, we have a robust ecosystem in both camera and lighting. Uh, but what we're not well known for is bringing the imaging magic, which is you know our signature look, specifically into live broadcast production. So in, in reality, we have been doing it. We've been doing it for quite some time, including, including the recently aired uh, Super Bowl halftime show that was captured live with our mini and, and our mirror cameras. But what I want to highlight here today is um, our Amira Live broadcast camera system. So that's our new camera system uh, that is the answer for you know elegant, integrated, uh, camera and fiber transmission in one solution. So we have the embedded fiber camera adapter um, on the back of the Amira camera. Uh, this is a direct integration without uh, the, the cables you know, connecting the two, offering reliable cableless design. Um, you can also record in camera for post, for finishing, while uh, also transmitting uh, live HD and or UHD. Um, we have all of the controllability you would expect from a, a live camera system. We merge these worlds together, uh, the immersive world of cinema imaging with the shallow depth of field, the natural skin tones and exceptional dynamic range, which is what we're known for, into the multi-camera live experience. So we address the challenges on the engineering side, bridging the gap with the, the artistic side. And the results of live images on par with uh, what we accomplish with our camera systems uh, in high-end you know, feature films, television series, and, and OTT streaming productions. And actually, uh, on a side note, one of our engineers, Howard, uh, Harold Brendel, was just recently awarded the SEMPTI uh, Natalie M. and Herbert T. Kalmus Medal Award for his outstanding contribution to the color management system of, of the Ari Alexa camera family. So we're very, very proud of that. So the imaging, all of the imaging magic we bring to the table that we're known for, we also bring that into the live, the live broadcast experience as well. On the Mini LF camera side of things, the, this, the Mini LF continues to be highly successful the ability to shoot all the way out to large format with a very shallow depth of field, yeah, in-camera downsampling to UHD, reducing the data rate uh, and avoid you know, the, the cropping and resizing in, in post-production if your target deliverable is 16 by nine UHD. Uh, these are just some of the advantages. Uh, we also have custom frame lines, for example, for the nine by 16, which is the cell phone format. You can turn the camera horizontally and shoot this way. Uh, maintain the custom frame lines for composition, and our cameras are also firmware updatable. Uh, this gives the ability to introduce new features, protecting the investments of our, our customers, which is a great a great thing to do. And we also recently introduced for the Mini LF Sub 7 and following Sub 7.1 uh, with the Super 35 millimeter formats for 16 by 9, 16 by 9 target deliverables yeah, using Super 35 glass, and also adding the recording formats of 2.8K um, LF, which is one-to-one, -one. Uh, 2.8K is available in Airy RAW and Apple ProRes and is tailor-made for shooting two times anamorphic lenses for a target deliverable, deliverable of two-to-one. And these are just some of the updates uh, for the Mini LF that we wanted to kind of highlight here with you today. On the remote production side, our cameras and lights can be controlled remotely. Uh, this has been done with a number of productions um, via the web remote interface and also via IP, regardless of where you are. It, whether you're in another room or across the world, you can control all the necessary features of our cameras and lights in, in, in a remote workflow environment. From our lighting offerings, uh, some of the highlights is we have our highly su successful sky panels, of course, and our orbiter. Um, our orbiter features interchangeable optics, transforming into the perfect light for applications uh, without sacrificing beam, output, or color quality. Uh, we also have the ARRI Light Net, which is a new offering from our uh, system solutions group, which is a, a software platform designed for seamless workflow integration with broadcast lighting systems, utilizing the full power of IP connectivity, and at the same time, ensuring ease of use, effectiveness, and efficiency in daily studio lighting operations. So LightNet essentially you know, offers a smart 
logical and at a glance, centralized monitoring, fault finding, and management of broadcast studio lighting networks from, from any location. And just want to very briefly touch on our lenses. Our ARRI signature primes are the first cinema lenses that we've crafted specifically for digital. Uh, film lenses don't work in digital the way that they do in film. Uh, the highest quality film lenses feel too sharp and, and clinical, so to speak. Uh, other lenses, the ones with more aberrations, feel great in HD, but don't hold up in, in UHD and, and HDR, where their qualities become distractions and, and kind of pull audiences out of the story. Our goal here at ARRI was to design a look that works uh, for today, for the present, in HD and 4K, and then looks even better in the future in HDR and 8K. So most productions uh, you know, are still monitoring on set in HD, as we all know, and it's not until post that a cinematographer can see what their work looks like when mastered at 4,000 nits in, in UHD resolution, for example. And there are a lot of lenses whose look will become greatly exaggerated when seen in, in that fashion. Our lenses only look even, even more beautiful. But the only surprise in post should be that they look even better on ultra high quality displays. So we found a way to balance aberrations in a pleasing way that makes people look their best while capturing the maximum amount of color uh, shadow and highlight information, and our lenses are, are high resolution without feeling artificially sharp, which is important when planning ahead for 8K and, and HDR. And while they feel natural at the point of focus, we offset that with the bokeh that is incredibly soft and smooth to create an enhanced sense of depth. So like our cameras, the signature lenses look great out of the box while giving cinematographers everything they need to push their images to the limit in post, uh, or they can experiment in camera by using filters uh, and, and nets with our rear magnetic uh, filter holders, which allow them to use the same tools uh, on both zooms and, and primes. And our, and our newly introduced signature zooms are unique in that they intercut seamlessly with our signature primes. Uh, matching primes and zooms were easier to make in the film era as the analog medium forgave a lot of the differences. Uh, digital doesn't forgive uh, much at all. So this was a, a much more difficult task, but, but we did it, we were able to pull it off. And we feel that this is the, the first combination of zooms and primes that do actually intercut perfectly when used on, on high performance digital cameras like our, our series of cinema cameras. So the signature primes have become very popular across a wide variety of production types, uh, features, television, fashion, uh, you know, commercials and so forth, visual effects, documentaries, uh, even product photography and, and dome projection, they've been used very successfully. So they have a unique character that's built to look better over time and they're tailor-made for digital. Um, the more you see, the, the better they look, essentially. So the signature primes have 16 focal lengths from 12 to 280 millimeters, uh, all at T1.8, except for the 200, which is a 2.5, and the, the 280, which is a, a 2.8, and, and all are shipping currently. With the signature zooms, we have a 16 to 32, we have a 24 to 75, we have a 45 to 135, and a 65 to 300, all at 2.8. Uh, the 65 to 300 comes with a 1.7 times extender at no extra charge that makes it um, into a 110 to 512, uh, sorry, 500, 510 millimeter uh, T uh, 4.9 zoom. The 45 to 135 is shipping now. The 65 to 300 will ship uh, very soon uh, after this video is, is, is posted. And the 16 to 32 ships in January and the 24 to 75 ships in February. And that concludes uh, my update for today. Thank you very much, Randy. Appreciate it. Sure. Well, that's a lot <laughs> before <laughs> before I. But it's it's all good. And as you mentioned, your your cameras and and lenses and lights are being used on episodics and films, including something most recently, which we we have a story on the site about is uh, Dune. Do you Correct. can you just can you mention a couple of other um, projects, TV or film, that your cameras are being used on? Yeah, so we have uh, uh, some examples, Jungle Cruise, Free Guy, uh, Godzilla versus Kong, um, Space Jam, A New Legacy, uh, Candyman. These are just some examples. One, one prominent example from the TV side is uh, Ted Lasso, the Apple streaming series. Peter, thanks so much for taking the time. It's good to see you again. And I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see each other soon.